Welcome to part two of our series, I'm a Certified Functional Aging Specialist, Now What? In part one, we covered the importance of getting experience and how to do that. In part two, now we're gonna focus on getting your message clear. If a reporter or even a friend, a colleague, were to come up to you and ask, you know, what is functional aging? What's that all about? What does functional longevity mean? And why is that important? What is functional aging training and how does that differ from any other type of training? Or they might ask you about your skills and abilities and what has this prepared you to do or who are you now able to work with and help? All these are really important and vital and key questions that you should be able to answer clearly and accurately and probably even most importantly, very compellingly. Right? You wanna speak not only factually, but very passionately so it leaves them wanting more information. Probably no other group is more important that you get your message clear to, and that's potential clients. So you've got to think about, well, what are the benefits that I can now offer these potential clients now that I'm certified as a functional aging specialist? So you've got to think about, well, what are their values? You know, what's important to them? What are their life goals? What are they wanting to get out of exercise? These are all keys for helping you then to communicate the benefits that you're gonna to offer to them that are distinct from what other trainers around you or other methods or programs around you might wanna offer. So you really wanna get your message clear. Once you have your message clear, and you can think about that, right? Take some time and ponder it. Once you get it clear, then you can start thinking about, well, how am I gonna communicate this kind of broadly? How am I gonna broadcast it? And you want to broadcast it in many different forms. It could be on your website, through blog articles or videos that you do. Uh, it could be through public presentations that you go out and give. How are you going to communicate this in many different ways so that you have different sights and sounds and, and a feeling to it, but it's still a cohesive message because that's what's gonna connect with a lot of different client types. You can even use FAI as part of that message, as part of the credentials that you're bringing. Talk about what, what FAI is and, and who we are and what our credentials are. That can help you to kind of figure out, well, what is my message? Where do I fit into this whole thing? For an example, you know, we've really rallied around this, this mission statement and that we are helping trainers to help their clients so that they can do the things they need to do do the things they like to do, and do the things they want to do easier, better, and with less discomfort. So what does all that mean? Because each of those phrases have been chosen very specifically in order to, to make a point. So example, we go back to the things that they need to do. Well, what do people need to do in their daily life? Well, they need to get up and move around and go shopping and do chores around the house. They need to eat and bathe and go to the toilet and all these things that they have to do just to survive. We know that we're going to have clients that have to work on the things that they need to do. We call the th those things like activities of daily living, either our instrumental activities of daily living or our basic activities of daily living. And all these things are just the stuff that we have to do just to remain independent and remain in our home or the ability to take care of ourselves without someone else doing it. We know some clients are gonna be in that spot. But that's not too exciting for some people. We also gotta think about, well, what are the things that they like to do? Maybe they like to go walking with their spouse. They like to go out and play tennis or golf with their buddies or their friends. They like to garden. They like to do woodworking. What are those things that they like to do in their life that give them enjoyment, right? That, that give them pleasure because that's really what life is all about. But then we get to what is it that they want to do? And now we're really tapping into their desires and their aspirations. You know, it's the, boy, I've always wanted to go to fill in the blank. And so are you gonna help them fulfill those aspirations? Sometimes people work in a job and have a career. It might be enjoyable to them, it might not, but what they've always really wanted to do is pursue some creative passion, right? They wanted to be an artist or, or a musician or a sculptor, or they, they wanted to teach people how to surf. I mean, you never know what it is that really is a hidden passion that they want to explore. And so we feel like our job, our responsibility 
is to help trainers help their clients in all those situations so they continue to move through life and enjoy life to the fullest. So we have really rallied around that mission. And that's something that you can think about as well. Where do you fit into that mission? Who is gonna be kind of your ideal client that you're really excited about? Because when you're excited and you're passionate about something, now you have the knowledge, skills, and abilities to follow through with that passion. That message is gonna shine through, but you need to be able to communicate it very clearly and succinctly to lots of different groups because you're gonna have the opportunity to do so. So step one, get experience. Step two, get your message clear. Come back with us next time, we'll talk about step three.